about four hours ago, baseball seemed improbable in Oxford, Mississippi. Across the entire state, tornadoes, thunderstorms rolling through. It rained and rained and flooded and rained some more, but then all of a sudden, as the front made its way past Oxford, the rain stopped, the tarp came off, and we have a beautiful night for college baseball at Swayze Field with Ole Miss out of the SEC hosting Arkansas State from the Sunbelt Conference. Cody Adcock, the freshman from Texarkana, Arkansas, making his ninth appearance of the year. Numbers pretty good in limited action. I think 25 of the 36. Here's a high fly ball to right field. Leatherwood on the run to the track, and that ball is gone. A solo home run for Liam Hicks. Fifth home run of the season for Hicks in Arkansas State. Takes a 1-0 lead. Stop and grab the shin guard on the way around, Mr. Hicks. Take your time. This ball on the ground to short. Gonzalez over to Calvin Harris, and that ends the inning. So Tyler Jeans has a lead early in this ball game as he comes to the mound to start things off for ASU in the bottom of the first inning. The freshman from Texarkana, Arkansas. Full count pitch to Kevin Graham. He hits a pop-up on the right side of the infield. Hicks, the first baseman, makes the catch, and Ole Miss goes 1-2-3 in the bottom of the first. Josh Mallett's making his 15th appearance of the season. 26 strikeouts, just seven walks in 22 and two-thirds. He's got three wins and a loss. Hicks hits this one fair down the right field line, and that's going to be extra bases for the Arkansas State first baseman. He will head into second, throw a little offline. ASU had a chance in the first to score maybe a couple more. Duncan lifts this one to left center field. That ball slicing away from McCants all the way to the wall, a one hopper. McCants then drops it, throw comes in. Only one run going to come around to score. Looks like that's where Dunhurst is set up. One, two. Bench able to cut it off at third, has to hurry the throw, gets it over to Harris just in time to beat the runner. You weren't getting one of those diploma things, huh? Came eventually. This ball scoots past Klutz at third base out into left field. Tenth start of the year for Calvin Harris. And he grounds this one off the glove of the first baseman, Hicks, and then the second baseman, Gish. Certainly it appears Gonzalez is going to lay a bunt down. And he lays a near perfect one down. Jeans can't field it. Ole Miss has got the bases loaded with nobody out. This ball hammered through the left side of the infield, a base hit for Peyton Chatagne. Calvin Harris going to try to come around the score, the throw from DeShazer, not in time. And when you look at the remaining schedules, Arkansas of the three has the most difficult remaining schedule. This ball lined up the center, up the middle for a base hit for Justin Bench. That is his second hit of the game, an RBI single. Austin Miller with a different look now for a couple of weeks. Shaved the big, full Duck Dynasty style beard, making his 14th appearance of the year. Sub five ERA, 15 Ks, eight walks on the season, and 16 and a third. The 0 2 from Miller. Strike three, call. Klutz goes away looking. Couple of strikeouts in the inning. Max Charlton making his 10th appearance of the season. 33 hits allowed at 14 and a third, which probably accounts for that 10.67 earned run average. There is nothing bad about getting it, throwing strikes, doing it quickly. 0-2 pitch, this time a breaking ball. Chopped third base side. Klutz throws across and just off the mark and Good man, Cleve likely going to get an infield single there. Hits it on the ground. That's fielded by the second baseman. Tries to glove flip. Not in time at second. Not in time at first. And then Chatagne lines it the opposite way for another base hit. Van Cleve comes home to score. Misses with four in a row to Kevin Graham. A bases loaded walk. He picks up an RBI. He extends that streak out of 37 straight games, reaching safely. A limited number of games. He is hit, though, in the back there. And another run will come home to score. Justin Bench picks up the RBI, 26th of the year. And much of what you've seen from McCants this year has been middle and pulled. Missed tag there. Throw to first. Gets away. 
One run comes home to score. Here comes another. And this ball hit hard into right field by Hayden Leatherwood. Justin Bench will come home to score. And Leatherwood takes second. Ground ball to short. That'll score a run. McCutcheon. Left-hander Jackson Kimbrell into the game for Ole Miss, making his 15th appearance on the year. You see 4-0, ERA a little bit higher than 4.5, 25 strikeouts, 12 walks. 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground out, and he flies this one to right. Chatagne going back, calling for it, makes the catch. Morrell making his fifth appearance of the year, sub-2 ERA, only five and a third innings of work. Right-hander, six strikeouts, a couple of walks this season. This ball is fair down the right field line. That's the second time tonight that Hicks has been able to get one just inside the first base bag. He will cruise into second with a two-run double. Braden Forsyth now into the game for Ole Miss. Projected field from D1 baseball. This is a high fly ball to left field. Kevin Graham going back, gets to the wall, and that ball is gone. As Ben Klutz goes deep for the fourth time this season, a two-run home run off of Braden Forsyth. And it's now 11 to six. So Klutz in the first inning just missed one. Fly ball to left field, it was a swing, just missed a home run. Really good swing. The Shazer hits this one deep to left center field. Kevin Graham on the run. That one it goes out of the yard as well. Third home run of the game for Arkansas State. Jalen DeShazer hits his fourth long ball of the year. And the Red Wolves are clawing their way back into this game now down 11 to 7. This ball hit toward left center. Graham on the run. That's not going to get there. It goes all the way to the wall. Two more runs score. Gish cruises into second. And we've got a two run game. Cole Baker entering in a surprisingly big spot in the top of the sixth inning with Arkansas State having scored seven runs. This ball hit hard in the air to right field. It's over the glove of Leatherwood. Jake Gish comes around from second to score. This one chopped left side. Bench will cut it off, throw over to first. Jack Jumper. The new pitcher in for Arkansas State. Leatherwood, good swing. He hits it to third off the glove, and now Leatherwood aggressive, thought about second. And Cleve hits this one up the middle sharply. Good piece of hitting. Plumley never thought about checking up. He goes first to third. Trying to answer. Calvin Harris lifts this one the opposite way. John Rice Plumley will tag at third base after the catch from DeShazer. Will come home to score. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit off the glove of the shortstop, McCutcheon. Gonzalez goes first to third. An RBI single for Peyton Chatagne. Right-hander Tyler Myers into the game for Ole Miss. And this is an arm that you are used to seeing on the weekend. Of course, Tyler Myers has pitched a little bit in the midweek. This is his 14th appearance of the year. Strike three called outside corner. Huber goes away looking. Jake Algie making his 15th appearance of the year. Bench goes the opposite way. Duncan coming in, diving for it, and can't haul it in. Great effort by Duncan in right field. Kantz goes the opposite way, and that ball drops down into the left field corner, goes all the way to the wall. Justin Bench will come around. He's going to try to score. He'll do so without a throw. This one in on the hands, popped to shallow right field. The second baseman, Gish, had his feet go out from under him. McCants running the whole way with two outs, comes around to score. This ball hit well to left. Kevin Graham, he'll trot back and then watch it leave the yard as Gish gets a home run. Fifth of the year. Gish was 0 for 3 through his first three at bats. But he has been on time with the last two swings. A two-run double in the sixth inning and a solo home run here in the eighth. One-two pitch. Lifted to right for a base hit. One-two. 
Chopper, and that's over Baker's head. Scoots out into shallow right field. Chatagne cuts it off. He'll send the throw toward third base. Now runner trying to move up. Nine starts this season. This is his fourth relief appearance of the year. 2-2. Two -two. Ground ball right side. Chatagne one away. Ole Miss certainly okay with trading it out for a run as Hicks comes home to score. The 0-2. Check swing, fielded by Diamond. He'll throw over to Baker, and that ends it. It was anything but easy tonight for Ole Miss. 15-12 the final. The Rebels get the win over Arkansas State.